Many people have been requesting this one for months and now I'm going to finally go ahead and in today's video I'm going to go ahead and analyse all the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta cards. So if we jump straight into it with the physical Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta, his leader skill gives a 30% attack boost to physical types per physical orb obtained, he causes supreme damage, he changes rainbow orbs into physical orbs, and if we have a look at his link skills he has Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Prodigies, Super God Combat, Resurrection F and Prepare for Battle. So because he has a prepared for battle link he fits very well into a mono physical team. He is an orb changer which is great if some of your units do not share any links. But even though he does have a supreme damage modifier he still doesn't hit that hard. And this definitely makes Vegeta more of a support unit. But if you are ever trying to nuke a certain event his leader skill is definitely going to be the best for that. But overall he is a decent card. So if we now move on to the agility Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. His leader skill gives a 25% attack and defensive boost to agility, STR and physical types. He causes extreme damage. He gets a 60% attack and defensive boost when performing a super attack. And if we have a look at his link skills, he has Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Prodigies, Super God Combat, and Resurrection F. So straight away, you can notice that he is missing the Prepare for Battle link, and he also doesn't have a Supreme Damage modifier. However, despite not having that, he hits much harder than the physical type because of the attack boost that he gets from his passive skill, and he also gets a 60% defensive boost. And when you add this to the 140% that the Super Vegeta leader skill gives you, he is easily going to hit for over 100k, and at the same time, he can also tank. And another great use that this Vegeta has is that he powers up the agility Super Saiyan Blue Goku even more, which definitely makes this one of the best combos in the agility type. The only thing that Vegeta is missing is a supreme damage modifier to increase the amount of attack that he is going to do, and the prepared for battle link to make it easier to super attack. And if we now move on to the STR Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, his leader skill gives a 25% attack and defensive boost to agility, STR and physical types, he causes extreme damage, he gets an 80% attack boost when performing a super attack, and if we have a look at his link to our Super Saiyan, Warrior God, Prodigies, Super God Combat, and Resurrection F. So like the agility type, he is missing the prepare for battle link, he only causes extreme damage, and by himself he is the hardest hitting Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. The agility type could potentially out damage him if he is linked up with Goku, but in terms of raw power he is the strongest. He doesn't get a defensive boost like the agility type, and unfortunately because there isn't an SSR STR Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Vegeta won't be able to activate the majority of his attack links, which potentially hurts his chances of being placed in a mono STR team. So if we now move on to the final part of this video, in first place is the agility Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, in second place the physical Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and in last place is the STR Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Now keep in mind this is pre Doken Awakening, Vegeta will most likely get his own Doken Fest in the coming months hopefully, so the order of this list will most likely change, but today's results are simply based on the better card overall, and how useful they are in the current meta. So the reason why I put the agility type first is because of the attack links that he shares with Goku, despite not having an extreme damage modifier he still hits harder than the physical type, he also gets a defensive boost which makes him a decent tank, and even though he doesn't have prepared for battle I still think he is the better one overall, as you can simply make up for the lack of links between your units with a support unit, or just really good or placement. Now the reason why I rank the physical type above the STR type is simply because of his usefulness. He has a prepared for battle link so he does fit very well into a modern physical team, but even if he didn't have that link he would make up for it with his passive skill. He doesn't hit as hard as the STR type, but I definitely feel that like the physical type has a chance at a spot in a modern physical team, whereas the STR type has a lesser chance in being implemented into a mono STR team, firstly because he does not have any top tier key links, he doesn't support other units like the agility type, and because of all of these factors he unfortunately does come last, but as I stated before, if he ever gets his own Doken Fest, this list will most likely change, but for now this is the order that I rank them in. But that is it guys, I hope you all enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Dragon Ball videos, I hope you all have a nice day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.